Hello and welcome to my channel Butter, Bread and Stews. Today we are going to show you how to prepare a yummy Persian style dish which is called Shevit Polo. It's a traditional Persian dish made out of rice and dill and this rice goes very well with the lamb shanks Persian style that we prepared in the previous uh, video. You can just click here and watch it. So let's start. Ingredients finely chopped dill one and a half cup you can use fresh or dry if you want to have a better quality of your rice and dish you can use the fresh ones white rice three cups salt two tablespoons at first start washing off the rice under the running water until all the dust and the rice to disappear you can gently rub the rice in your hands so the dust will go away easily but you should remember to not to press the rice too much otherwise the pieces will be broken once the rice is clean and the water over the rice is clear you just fill the bowl of rice with lukewarm water the water should be enough to cover all the rice add two teaspoons of salt and mix the rice in the water and set it aside Separately fill a cooking pot full of water and place it over the high temperature and cover it and let the water boil. Once the water starts boiling, add 2 tablespoons of salt into the boiling water. Drain the rice where you put it aside before and add the rice to the boiling water and mix it well. After 2 minutes of adding the rice to the boiling water, it is time to add the fresh dill or dry dill inside the boiling water as well and mix it very well. The rice in the boiling water must be half cooked, so stir the rice once in a while and check the rice with your hand. Once you see the rice is half soft, which is like approximately 8 minutes of putting the water over the heat it is time to remove the water from the heat now we drain the rice using a sieve mix the rice gently to remove all the water remaining in the rice and let it sit for 2-3 to three minutes inside the sieve while waiting separately Put the cooking pot back to the medium to high heat and add 3 tablespoons of oil to the pot. Place a piece of flat bread on the bottom of the pot. You can just cut the edges of the bread so that the bread will be fit to the bottom of the pot. Then add the whole rice to the cooking pot as well. Add half a glass of water over the rice as well as 2 tablespoons of oil over the rice. Cover the pot using a clean towel wrapped around the lid of the pot. Bring the heat to medium to low and let the rice cook completely. After about 45 minutes to 1 hour, just check your rice. If the rice is completely soft, it means it's cooked and it's time to remove it from the heat. To transfer the rice to the serving plate in a way that we should have the crispy side of the bread on the top and the rice on the bottom, we choose a serving plate which is the size of the cooking pot. Place the serving plate upside down over the cooking pot and hold both sides of the cooking pot as well as the serving plate and reverse the pot towards the serving plate and put it down slowly. When you separate the pot from the plate, you will end up with a beautiful crispy bread on the top of the serving plate, just like a cake. I hope you like this and you make it and enjoy it. Until the next shows, happy cooking!